Hi, and thank you for allowing me to share a few moments with you today as we continue on our Lenten journey of doing life together. We've talked a lot about our relationships with other people and our relationship with God in these last few weeks. When you are in relationship with someone, at some point, you will probably find yourself waiting on them, sometimes patiently in expectation of something good happening, and sometimes anxiously when you're in need. Waiting is de defined as one, to remain inactive or in a state of repose, as until something expected happens, two, to be available or in readiness, three, to look forward to something eagerly. Think about these definitions as I read from a couple of different Psalms. Psalm 62 verse one says, for God alone, my soul waits in silence. From him comes my salvation. Psalm 145 verses 14 through 15 says, The Lord upholds all who are falling and raises up all who are bowed down. The eyes of all look to you and you give them their food in due season. Another version says, The eyes of all wait upon you. There are some expectations in, there, in these verses, isn't there? God is going to meet us with salvation, with steady strength, and with provision. He is faithful. I recently started reading a book by Andrew Murray called Waiting on God, 31 Daily Meditations on Prayer. I wanted to share a little bit from one of these meditations with you about learning to wait on God. Andrew Murray writes, in praying, we are often occupied with ourselves, with our own needs and our own efforts in the presentation of them. In waiting upon God, the first thought is of the God upon whom we wait. We enter his presence and feel we need to just be quiet so that, as he, so that he, as God, can overshadow us with himself. God longs to reveal himself, to fill us with himself. Waiting on God gives him time in his own way and divine power to come to us. It is especially at the time of prayer that we ought to set ourselves to cultivate this spirit. Before you pray, bow quietly before God, just to remember and realize who he is, how near he is, how certainly he can and will help. Just be still before him and allow his Holy Spirit to waken and stir up in your soul the childlike disposition of absolute dependence and confident expectation. Wait upon God as a living being, as the living God who notices you and is just longing to fill you with his salvation. Wait on God till you know you have met him. Prayer will then become so different. And when you are praying, let there be intervals of silence, reverent stillness of soul, in which you yield yourself to God in case he may have anything he wishes to teach you or to work in you. Have you ever gone into prayer with the thought of waiting on God? waiting for him to meet you in that time and space, waiting eagerly to see what he has for you today, waiting in readiness to be obedient to his calling, waiting, looking forward to his provision for your needs. Andrew Murray suggests that before you pray, before you bring your needs to the Lord, before you fill your time with him, with all your words and thoughts and busyness of life, before anything else, just take some time to sit quietly and wait. Be still. Remember who he is and whose you are. Wait for his presence, his spirit to settle in with you. Andrew Murray's words, wait on God till you know you have met him and then pray. Pour out your heart to him and know that he hears you and anticipates your need. Know that he is with you and promises never to leave you at any time or during any circumstance. 
He will walk with you to uphold you, to raise you up, and to provide for you in due season at the proper time. It's not always easy to sit quietly and wait on God. Some days you may not have a lot of patience. Keep trying. It's hard to shut off all the stuff going in our heads and our hearts, but keep trying. Be still and honor him in your waiting. Let's give it a try right now. I'd like you to settle in, quiet your body, quiet your mind, and quiet your heart. Think only of God's glory and awesome power and his everlasting love for us. Lord, we come to you today desiring to improve our relationship with you. We praise you and we thank you that you want to spend time with us, that you provide for us, and that you love us more than we can even imagine. Help us, Lord, to wait on you eagerly and in, and, and in anticipation of spending eternity in your holy presence. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you.